Uh, here we go with the actual scary stuff now, man, you know. Like, horrify his videos are scary, but it's more so just like the events that happen to people, you know, just random shit that happens to people. Um, yeah, now we have the actual scary stuff. Most disturbing camping encounter is caught on camera, volume 8. If you've been watching any of my scary videos, you know I hate camping, bro. You know, I hate camping, I hate the woods. Uh, you know, camping in the forest? Absolute no-no. Never happening with me, ever. Um, looks like this is, this first video is from Jasco on YouTube, which I have, um, seen videos with him in it, so, yeah. In old go. cabins in the middle of nowhere is enjoyable until inexplicable things start happening to you. I'm gonna shut this off really quick. Sounds like it's coming closer. Sounds like it's getting closer. Bro, where are you the staying? Heard footsteps approaching at night and braced himself for an encounter. He wasn't prepared for what he was about to see next. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Who's there? What the fuck was that? Now, why would okay, you okay, do okay, that? Okay, there someone or something visited him slamming the door once it realized he was inside the camper's suspicions were confirmed when he gathered the courage to peek outside oh what hell no if you sleep on your no sleep, i don't give a damn what is this already they might is that running it sounds like someone's running away who's there do you have your flashlight you see anything around these people? Hell nah, they're uh, they're out in the middle of nowhere, this man. This video was taken by Jacob Edris, who thought he was going on his usual solo camping trip in Oregon. He had no idea that this might be the last thing he ever did. I can't see a goddamn thing outside this night vision. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. I don't know where the fuck I am. Fucking prick chased me off. Somebody, somebody chased you? In the video, Jacob is shown walking through the wilderness, saying he's lost and can't see anything in the dark. But that was only the start, as things were about to get much stranger for Jacob. Oh, hell no. Nah. There ain't no notes. Walking through a creepy forest in total darkness is one thing, but Jacob found something truly frightening. A strange tree formation with a white note-like object. No, on it. no. Someone or something had been watching him, and it was only a matter of time before it revealed itself. Get your ass moving. I don't care if you can't see, you better move your ass. What the f Jacob was never seen again. The rangers only found his camera and belongings. You just gonna drop that info and end the video, the clip right there? Jacob was never seen again. They only found his camera and belongings. The fudge? You just gonna drop that information and that's it? Listen to this shit. They said it so casually. Hold on, let me see. What the f What are you? Looks like a mannequin. Jacob was never seen again. The rangers only found his camera and belongings. That's it. Oh my. All right. In February well, 2024, rip Jacob. A Damn. Content creator went Jasko on a again. camping trip with his friend. But he didn't have to wait until he reached his destination for his first eerie experience. Was it a freaking werewolf? What am I? What am I hearing? person or something that look like a person bro, hold on hold on there's footsteps there's... I'll follow the footsteps follow the footsteps oh okay. that's definitely a person after encountering a mysterious man in a remote area these people were already in for a frightening trip While why would you go after him first, things began to get uncomfortably strange once they entered the woods no the woods. shit there's no 
face on that. Come here. You see oh, it. There's no face on the doll. Uh. Okay, <clears throat> let's just let's just do a rundown real quick. <clears throat> okay, so you're driving down this back road. It's nighttime, very dark out. Probably can't see shit without the headlights and the, and the flashlights on. Uh, it's snowy. It's very snowy out, so, you know, being able to run, it's going to be very hard. You know, you're not going to be as fast as you would be without snow. Um, so, you, you think you see a person. You see footsteps. You, you follow him. You get out the car. You leave the car on the road. You get out and follow him into the woods, right? Um... In the dark, in the pitch dark, you don't know who this is, you don't know where you are. Um, probably have very little reception as well. So, yeah, you, you follow this person down the down this freaking woods for some stupid reason. And you come across a doll that is nailed or something to a tree. With no face. And you hang around. Bro. I don't know. Like, y'all are just built different, man. Y'all are just built different because I don't know how y'all do this shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It just blows my mind how people can stay out there and just be calm as hell, bro. It just, like, I would be shitting myself. If that, if I was out there for some dumb reason, if I just lost my mind and I went out there like this, bro. I am not turning, I would, you know, when you're out in the woods, there is a 360 degree radius of which something can get you, something can look at you, anything can happen. I would be a freaking, I would be looking like one of those uh, merry-go-rounds, just constantly going around in a freaking circle all the time, because I'd be paranoid, bro. If you guys have any idea what type of doll this is, can you please let us what know? What kind of doll it is? It's a doll without a face, bro. It don't, it don't, it don't matter what kind of doll it is, bro. It's a doll without a face. Get the, f get out, bro. Get out. And he touches it. He touches it, bro. Things didn't improve after the creepy doll incident. No shit. Why would it? Hearing strange noises outside, even while they were inside their tent. I think it might. Look at this knife, man. I'm sorry for pausing, but like, what the fudge? Look at this knife. They felt they're in that much danger that they need to bring this. <laughs> and you're still out there. Let's see this plays out. We might have to leave. Yeah, like now. Oh, now. When it's too late. And your light's on. So they know your ass is in there. Footsteps. And you're talking. And footsteps. When they peeked outside, they saw real footsteps all around their tent, which prompted them to get out of there as quickly as possible. A guy. Okay. No, that but like, must be what you seen, the light. Right. The, what we heard, the footsteps. Yeah. Like, well, I, I mean, like, like I said, he was going away from the campsite. And then I, I called out. Hey, I, I forgot what I even said. Why would you moment, call out, they, they bro? Looked back at me and then just took off. That's Such another thing. Into That's another thing. Like, you see somebody in the woods and you're like, Hello! Like, what the fudge are you s- To a haunted forest and you'll start right. witnessing some really bizarre things. What is that? I don't want to know. Oh, not a chair, bro. I don't want to play soccer. I don't want to do any of that, to be honest with you. I'm- I am G, hell no. Nah. I ain't built like that. Okay, that's not creepy at all. A reclined chair. A traveler who lives in his van in adventurous locations thought spending the night in the haunted woods would be a good idea, but he was in for a big surprise. That's a nice looking van, though. <coughs> Looks cozy. I just heard something outside. Oh, I thought that, that was... Hello? Bro, the sound effects. Stop it with the sound effects. He had already come hear across shit. a strange recliner, and now he was hearing noises outside his van, as if someone had been Oh, that him. dog, my god. Oh, I saw something over my shoulder just now. I'm losing my mind. Is that a light? I could have 
could have sworn I just heard something outside. Millie, can you go check on that for me, please? This no! Don't you send the freaking dog! That just pissed me off instantly. That pissed me off instantly, bro. You hear a noise and send the dog. Hell no. That dog gets hurt. You're never gonna forgive your- I won't forgive yourself. <laughs> Not yourself, but you. I won't forgive you, bro. Send the dog out. You don't know what that shit is, man. What if it's a bear and you sent your dog out to a freaking death trap? Believe and save himself. What if it's a wolf? And then here you are, going out. In November 2020, outdoor adventurer Dr. Hannah Strait was sleeping in her camper van in a remote area when something came up to the vehicle, opened the door, and trashed everything she had set up outside. Our door was open, and this bin was on the ground. The lid was off. There was food all over the ground. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? Like, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I just stuck around today because I want to try to figure out what's going on. She knew she couldn't spend... They got doctors doing this shit. Too, man. So she decided to stay alert and watch for the creature to come back. Creature? Still waiting around. Haven't seen or heard anything. Just getting kind of late. Did you see that thing? I wonder. Being in a remote area makes I didn't it hard see to see things in the dark. Fortunately, she had brought night vision trail cameras to capture everything. Oh and when my she god! The footage. She found what she was searching for. What in the hell? Looks like it's going through the trees. I don't know what that thing- The odds of spotting a man running like that in the middle of the night were low, and it wasn't an animal either. She realized her life was at risk. In anything like that creature really? before, it's just ripping through the woods. It is terrifying, and I need to get out of here right now. I gotta go. This is insane. Experience a chilling adventure as two men can't- Oh, CJ face, and I've seen it. I, I watch him all the time. This mountain isn't ordinary. It's haunted by skinwalkers. I've seen this. I watch like all of his videos. It's pretty funny. I forget After what setting up okay. camp. The men placed equipment to capture the mythical creatures, but before they could sit down and focus on the task, they heard strange sounds <clears throat> coming from the distance. What the fuck was that? What, 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 wait, 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 listen, listen. Something just walked up there. I swear on everything, there was something like dark. Let's go look. It's been a while since I've seen this one. They didn't just sit and listen to the noise. They decided to investigate. And what they found was absolutely terrifying. A shadowy creature began following them, making the situation more tense with each passing moment. Listen. In September 2023, two friends had a scary experience while bow hunting in Alberta, Canada. They heard strange noises outside their tent that didn't sound like any animal they knew, <clears throat> so they set up a trail camera to find out what was making the noises. On their second night, the camera started capturing strange things. First, it detected some movement, which was odd because the footage didn't show any creature passing by. Then, what things is got that? even stranger. A flash of lightning suddenly appeared on the camera, almost like a superhuman being was zipping around. Then, a few minutes later, the being finally showed itself. Uh, what the fudge? Oh, hell no. Nah. Some people say it was the legendary Bigfoot, but who knows? Um, 
sure. We'll just go with that Bigfoot. one. Bigfoot. We couldn't do a video about forest mysteries <coughs> without mentioning Bigfoot. This next video was uploaded to YouTube in 2013 by Josh Highcliffe. It seems to show a big, ape-like creature walking through a forest near Tunica, Mississippi. Josh filmed the two-minute clip from about 50 yards away. He said the creature was at least seven feet tall and that he ran away as soon as it stood up. The clip has sparked a lot of interest online. Some people say it's the best Bigfoot footage ever, while others think it's fake. What do you think? Could be either one. You never really know, I guess. The Pine Barrens are known for their frightening haunts. CJ facing. Yep, he always if you goes here. Inside, be ready for the scare of your life, just like one man experienced in February 2024. Yep. <gasps> yep. Guys, are you up? Dylan, Chris. What started as a fairly quiet camping trip turned into a complete nightmare for him when he heard a loud pop outside his tent. Yeah, it hit like the back. I think he's in the middle. It hit the back side Someone of his tent. Someone was stalking the man and throwing things at his tent. Initially, he thought it might be one of his friends, but when he looked outside, the reality was not what he had expected. If a spooky mountain haunted by skinwalkers was CJ scary again, enough, how about the world's most haunted forest? These guys decided to camp there too, and what they discovered was truly amazing. Shit, something is walking. Hello? Yeah, again, the freaking calling out hello shit, man. Deciding to split up to explore a haunted area is never wise, but these guys thought it was the fastest way to cover the forest. Dumb. Little did they know, this decision would lead to a series of creepy encounters. I just saw a light. I don't know if that's him or not. Oh shit, okay. I don't think that's him, because that's too light. Not only did the man keep seeing lights around him that weren't from his friend, but he also spotted strange creatures moving through the forest. And yet, that was just the beginning of what this place had in store for him. What the f*** was that, mother <laughs> Turn your light that way. God. Oh, what? That was God. <laughs> that was not him. There's no... Ray is hilarious sometimes. Oh... Holy shit, bro. The spooky encounters Spirit didn't says end even God. after they reunited. According to their EVP recorder, it wasn't just any supernatural creature. They encountered something claiming to be a deity. They're gonna knock me over. I'm about to knock somebody's ass out. Dude, what? Like, I, scan over here. <laughs> Burnt Bridge Road in CJ again, is one of the most notorious haunted places globally. According to legend, the ghost of a young girl wanders the area. That was crazy. Any daring travelers who venture there. Caught that apparition going across. Going across the road. What was that? The van was just swaying side to side, dude. Let's go out there and fucking look for it. Fuck that, dude. I'm not going out there. Fuck that. It's no, come on, like, come on. Seriously. No, I'm not going out there, dude. Was it? Is the van still rocking? Feel it. Naturally, haunted places expert CJ Faison had to check it out for Faison, himself. Bro. However, this place was too much, even for him. The shaking van was just the beginning. Oh, it's not the van. <laughs> dude, fuck! Fuck me right now. Shit's entertaining, man. Come on, man. There, there's gotta be somebody out there with us. Whether it's real or not, it's entertaining, man. Watch as two friends go camping no, in the Appalachian Mountains. I've seen I, I've seen just about every one of these YouTubers. I don't watch Mo anymore. I used to watch him a lot. Is that Aldo's world right there in the white shirt? Um, yeah, I uh, I used to watch uh, Mo a lot. 
uh, Omar Gosh TV. I watch him quite a bit. I watch CJ Faison quite a bit. Um, or all the time, actually, I should say. Um, yeah, Jasco, I never really watch him directly, but I've seen him with CJ and, uh, with Chris, which is the guy that was in the van with CJ in that last clip, so. I've seen... I'm familiar with a lot of these YouTubers. The scariest things ever caught on camera. <laughs> the fudge is happening. While most of their hike was quiet, things got strange when they explored what looked like an abandoned village. People who seemed wild lived in the ruined buildings and didn't hesitate to make their presence known. Yeah, freaking um... What the fudge is- look at this shit! Huh? Bro, there's a feral person. What do you mean there's a feral person? What did you see? Where? Hello? Yeah. Why can't- my camera can't see them at all. I'm such a night vision. Sorry guys, give me a second. The wild people trailed them all day, seeming to wait for the perfect moment to attack. As night fell, they were prepared to hunt. Oh, oh, oh. oh hell nah. no. No, there's someone down there. Dude, I saw, I actually saw, saw Yeah, I saw somebody. Dude, okay, I actually saw somebody. Keep going. Somebody. The fudge are you stopping for? Back to the cave. Or I'd be hightailing it like you same bolt out of that. Trying hard to find a safe place to shelter. Just when they thought things might calm down, the wild people struck again. I put you same oh, bolt to shame, dude. Being shot at. Being shot at. Oh. Being shot at. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Bro, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? That was a man, dude. In the end. These people were saved by daylight, forcing the wild group to retreat to their caves. And you're still there. Solo camping trips are not easy, especially in the jungle, because even if you don't come across a scary animal, just the sounds can be enough to give you chills. Yeah, no, I'm good. Man, there's a coyote is going nuts. recorded her first solo journey through the forest and the strange things she heard would make anyone believe in the supernatural. What animal is this? It's an owl. Let's change topics for a moment and step away from Ooh, the forest. Is that a bird? I don't know. Traveler story is just as, if not more, terrifying than encountering a haunted spirit. A guy uh -huh. in the mountain up there that is watching you with binoculars. Okay. Well, oh hell no. Unnerving. Um. Well, I guess I won't be staying. She was alone doing her laundry on a mountain when a man approached and told her someone was watching her with binoculars. Warning a stranger seems like a kind gesture. Yeah, this... there was something very unsettling about this encounter. Yeah, he didn't say anything after she said, well, that's unnerving. I'd have been like, yeah, you probably should get out of here. He never said anything. He was just very quiet. Because it's nice out here and it's quiet, but if there's somebody watching me, then obviously I don't think I should stay out here at all. Well, that's fine. That's, that's your choice, too. Yeah. At this point, she thanked him for the warning and said she would relocate. Normally, an average person would leave her to handle it herself. Yeah, he's gonna... But once again, there was something very strange about this man. He stared at her for 30 seconds while yeah, she did her laundry, suggesting weird. she move to the other side of the mountain, which seemed unsafe. It was clear she needed to leave. Like now, you need to leave, like yesterday, bro. Okay, well, that is the most disturbing camping encounters caught on camera, volume eight, bro. Um. Yeah, that last one was a little bit creepy. And honestly, the creepiest one of them all was the last clip. Because, like I said, people, you know, 
humans are the scariest thing on this planet. They're scarier than any ghost. They're scarier than any animal. Um, you know, humans are just... They're creeps, man. Some of them... A lot of them are creeps, and you just can't, you can't trust them, man. You just cannot trust them, and, like, if I was out there solo camping, um, and somebody came up and told me that, like, I would honestly, 100% be suspicious of the person telling me I'm being stalked. I would be suspicious of them from the start. I was with that guy. Um, <clears throat> you know, like, as soon as he didn't answer her... Especially after she said it was unnerving and he was just very silent. Um, yeah, especially after that, I was like, yeah, there, there's something up with this dude. Like, it's either him that's stalking her or there's two of them. Um, but yeah, man, it, awful. Some people are awful, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like at the subscribe button, man. I, uh, I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.